The No Time to Die trailer is a little shitty and I want to talk about it. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. Uh, well, this is the cheesiest line delivery in Bond history. <laughs> Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. This is totally different compared to how he's performed in the other movies. Why don't you try putting that in a sentence? Like maybe, sorry Le Chief's gonna win, continue funding terror and killing innocent people. That kind of sorry? You lost because of your ego. And that same ego can't take it. That's what this is about. Well then you're an idiot. I'm sorry? I said you're a bloody idiot. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. I'm not a fan. Also, it's kind of funny when the actor in the film has dirt all over his face, but his teeth are sparkling white. Ralph finds deliberately puffing his chest out. <laughs> I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. I got the scoop on the new Batman movie. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> we went from, oh, no, I, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die, to stay in your lane. <laughs> you get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. All right, where to begin with this? The cringy, overly modern dialogue. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to hear that thoughtery in this franchise. It's like the Smurfs in, in the Smurf movies dabbing or whatever. Just don't do that. And oh, I'll put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. Oh yeah, James Bond, he's so old. <laughs> a regular gray meat Martinez. <laughs> Practically a corpse. It seems to me like they've called Bond back in for a mission the same time they assigned her. Isn't that like problematic to have two different agents totally unaware of each other on the same assignment? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, I'm just, it's just an assumption from the trailer, but you know, what else can I possibly decipher from this? The world's moved on, Commander Bond. The world's moved on from what exactly? Terrorism? Humanity's never in short supply of some asshole blowing something up. Or is what we've moved on from is like a hero like Bond. Cause last time I checked, there's been dozens of successful missions featuring nine Bonds spanning nearly three generations before your stuck up ass got here. And this is a nitpick, but the lowering of the shades completes this garbage water cocktail. It, there's just so many unnecessary fades in this trailer. Like J the James Bond trailers, they love their fade outs, but this one one is overkill and they're so awkward. It seems like either the editor is trash or the clips that they had weren't good enough to make a fully coherent trailer. Name? Bond. James Bond. Okay, is it me or is this line delivery very strange? James Bond. It sounds like he was trying to remind the receptionist who he was. Name? Bond. Bond. James Bond. Considering the direction this film is going in, the young replacing the old and getting rid of those old fashioned James Bond traditions like Bond girls and such. I see more of that in the last video I made about No Time to Die. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a further push of Bond's irrelevance. Like, I'm like, motherfucker, we don't know who you are here anymore. Please God, don't let that be the case. Fucking Christoph Waltz with that gangster head slant. <laughs> If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose control. All right, this is a little, this is, uh, that was a little corny. That was a little network television-ish. Also, he was so shocked to see the chick uh, he's married to at the place that he works or used to work. And did y'all just kind of give away that she died in that opening chase scene and now he's seeing her back alive in front of his face. And that's why he looks so surprised. Please tell me y'all just didn't give away a fucking twist. Y'all gave away a gigantic twist in your trailer, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? You gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. Uh, are we really doing this again? Bond settles down with the love of his life after only knowing her for a short period of time, only to find out later she's dirty. Hollywood has no original ideas. Bond was so broken by Vesper's betrayal. It actually made him the man ho we know and love. Like it made him cold and distant and unable to connect with any other woman. Yet he does the same exact fucking thing again. <laughs> James Bond. 
License to Kill. License to Kill. That was another Bond movie. History of Violence. But, uh, well, that was more of a Viggo Mortensen movie. History isn't kind to men who play God. Okay, Rami Malek looks really good at uh, turning his head menacingly to the right. As a villain, not, I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to see. Oh man, even shooting at the camera through a tunnel gimmick is awkward. Bond is way too far away. You can barely even make him out. Hey, Daniel, Daniel, can you move up a couple feet, please? Yeah, this trailer didn't alleviate any of my worries for this film. They should make a Bond movie based on my life called No Time to See This Shit. 